Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Swarm Overview. So this is something that I've seen already last year on Reddit, I believe. Many people play tested back in the day, although I didn't because I have a pretty weird thing that unless I'm not asked by the team to like try out a game or get a key to play it for the channel, I don't personally am the first contact attempt if I want to play something. It's not because of my ego or like whatever, but for some reason I don't feel comfortable asking for things and I was always like that in real life, you know? I would much rather work for something by Myself and earn it rather than try to be a nuisance and hope for something to happen like that's just my character you know so swarm seems to be a fast-paced action grappling game I'd say in the style of Jupiter grad but with more going on in terms of killing stuff around you in a battle arena format essentially you're like a spider-man with a machine gun just causing pure mayhem and destroying everything that's moving in your proximity it looks very locomotion inducive so going into the game this is gonna be probably my most worrying thing that after five minutes I'm gonna stop playing due to just sickness although it's usually up to the developers to design a game around that because that could be easily diminished much like I experienced in Dash Dash since I would get sick in every racer on quest but that one really solved the locomotion aspect of the game and nullified that. Looking at the chaos that's happening on the screen I think I'm gonna enjoy the game there seems to be some storyline going on as well so the whole project seems pretty appealing to try out and I don't think many things can go wrong just judging by the first impressions so let's go straight to the gameplay then. I've never seen anything. We've been gathering online and it's the same from around the world. Jesus. So the they are just destroying and lifting them in. Maybe Earth, mankind's last hope. This may be our last <laughs> Wow, <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> well, well, look what the end of the world dragged in. Have you seen the news? Don't need to. I've got windows, but not for long. Mm. I'm in the middle of a citywide dumpster fire. Thought I'd hear from you, big boss man. The high auger, already dead. Yeah, it's. Uh... This is very Spider-Man vibes. I'm high augurus now. Or I'm Superman I'm something. I'm a bit of a crash course. My favorite kind. Congrats on the bloody promotion, Augie. I'll send you some whiskey and cupcakes tomorrow. If there is one. I've sent some secret new tech in hopes that there very much will be. Oh! Oh, what? No cupcakes? Please, no jokes. I'd lost too many soldiers. I swear I will avenge them and save Earth. But there will be jokes. Oh, lovely. This is hardcore. The start so far? Hot damn. Welcome to training. Here you'll learn how to master grappling and defeat the swarming style. But priority number one is staying alive, mm -hmm. which means you can't fall. If you find yourself losing height, you can pump your hands up and down to regain height, just mm -hmm. like you see here. Notice how pulling down creates tension and the rope turns yellow. So please, remember this and stay alive. Mm -hmm. You can't defeat the swarm if you're dead. Lovely, let's begin. Use the grip buttons while aiming at a hook point to fire your grapple and swing. Collapse six down. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Turn around. Oh shit, snap turn. Does it have smooth one? Gun angle turning. Here we go. Smooth. Let's see now. So I basically can't drown or like touch the ground. <laughs> okay. Diamond there. I'm assuming I can, I can grab with any hand, yeah. Woo! And it's not like very like auto aim, you really actually have to grab yourself. Ah. Okay. Here we go there. 
I can't grab myself with two hands. Oh, wait, what? Shit, this grappling is not easy, actually. It's like in Jupiter Grad, it's way easier, but like here, you're kind of like waving around, but not really pulling yourself. Maybe with two hands, it's like much harsher. Yeah, okay. So it's gonna be kind of a process to learn as well how to properly grab. I'm actually not getting sick so far, so amazing. Oh, eight diamonds? God damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. So I have to like... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Holy hell, we're just flying so high here. You have the impression of flying in the big distances, even though like the environment doesn't really change in the background, you feel like it. To go fast, alternate hands to grapple pull release. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> no! <laughs> God. Okay. Ah! Okay. Easy to learn, but pretty sure hard to master, so let's do normal. It's not like extremely hard, but I think I can handle myself. I don't need training. I was teaching your tech to keep up with me. Looks like the swarm is here to break up study hall anyway. Good. If I wanted to learn, I wouldn't have dropped out of third grade. Time to take these flying pencil sharpeners to school. At the recess, death. Okay, come Eddie, calm down. <laughs> so it has pretty much like a story mode I see. With leveling systems stuff like that, score, kill streaks. Okay, let's go. Ah! <laughs> I'm assuming because I'm like right handed, it's gonna be way more convenient for me to just grapple with left hand and try to increase your score multiplayer. I don't care. <laughs> And fire with my right hand. Ooh. Okay. Oh, what is this? <laughs> New enemy. Blast you from distance, Zoid. Ow! <laughs> I also noticed that when I'm going like at the edge of the map, it bounces me off, which is very handy. <laughs> like you won't fly off too far, because you can like get a pretty big momentum. <laughs> yeah, one hand grappling is very safe. <laughs> Eight waves, you see. Yeah, see, I'm bouncing off. I like that. Too far. <laughs> I wonder if I can just stay in uh, one point, like all the time. The line does not break. Yeah, oh no, it breaks, okay. But like, it really has to has, like would be camping. Nice. <laughs> Got it? Ah. New enemy, elite. 
I like this presentation. So I'm assuming it's kind of like a boss. Oh, I already destroyed. Called X to activate slow mo wire swing. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, additional features, nice. There's slow mo meters in the bottom left. Recharge this when you gravel. Nice. I think I'll play one stage because it's pretty fun, so. And I'm not getting sick at all. I'm very surprised, actually. So, it just means that the developers did a great job optimizing it. Let's go. As well, like, shoot while you're grappling with the same hand? No, okay. So, there's some balance. No, no, no! Got it. Oh, damn. <laughs> They're following me. <laughs> I hit something. <laughs> oh wow. Warhead. <laughs> Bombard you with heat seeking missiles. Oh damn. Those missiles are a little bit scary. Destroy weak points. Oh, I can destroy the missiles as well. Okay. I mean, of course, I was a trailer. <laughs> okay. Oh, that actually specifies the distance <laughs> in meteors. Come here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow. Shoot me. Oh, here we are. <laughs> I can hit them from behind because I saw, yeah, the shield is one way. Come here! I lost my footing. Half minute. <laughs> yeah, I really get a hang of it. After a while you really get used to the locomotion and just like gameplay in general. Okay, we're gonna stop here. So it's pretty much just campaign and you progress through the levels, I'm assuming. Oh, you have modifiers like infinite slow motion, low gravity, okay. Enabling mods, disable start and progression. Okay, so this is mostly for fun. We have five zones, so I'm assuming we have five here and five zones, so 25 levels, I think. I'm not sure. I think this game would be amazing with multiplayer or like co-op as well. Just like one other person playing with you. And I think this game could do it because looking at the gameplay and just how the dynamic is here i'm pretty sure they can pull it off this is polished i really like this i wouldn't think grappling like a spider-man and just shooting to aliens flying around would be very like in my style but i very much appreciate that maybe we'll do a full playthrough of it we'll see there is some potential to be like you know challenging or whatever and i want to see more mechanics because it seems like we're getting more things probably different weapons as well so i'm interested and very fun indeed